Hey guys. So, lately I've been kind of toying around with Guitar Hero's drum set and everything, and I've always kind of wanted my own drum set, and so I was like, oh, this is cool, you know, I have a fake one, but it's not, you know, a real electric drum set, it's not like I can record with anything. Well, that's not true, because I found a way where I can, actually. So, here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you how this works. I have my, uh, my set. And I've, I'm borrowing one of my friend's Xbox so that I can do this, because I actually need to do this for a school project. So I've got it, you know, hooked up. And I actually have the output running into a video capture device, which is displaying it here on my computer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in Metallica. Uh, because Metallica has, you can practice, but if you want, you can just mess around and not do, you know, not have to play anything specific. So what we're going to do is on my other my other computer here I have the song I'm I'm working on so I have that ready to go and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play that I'm gonna record this and then I'm gonna take the audio from this and put it into the song and that will be my drum track. So I'm gonna start record start capturing this just entitle it drums All right, and now it's it's starting to capture. All right, so let's see here. So I'm just going to go into the studio, hit create new song, and just you know whatever hit the settings, create new song. So it's creating the song. That's not really doing anything. So now I just hit drums. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to turn the volume off because I don't want to get messed up by the, the delay because obviously there's a delay there. So. So that's kind of just how it works. And then I'll just take that audio and uh, use that and then just kind of underlay that into the uh, song itself. So uh, when the finished product is done, I'll let you guys know.